Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another public server of Lumber Tycoon 2. Yes. <laughs> if this is your first video that you've ever seen of me, I am not hyperkinetic. I'm not going to be super like, ah, scream, 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 I'm relative kind of thing. I am just here to play. I love Lumber Tycoon 2. I love Roblox. Um, I love programming and Roblox. And uh, yeah, just welcome. I hope you find the next 30 minutes to an hour enjoyable. Uh, it usually depends. Normally I try and keep it around 30 minutes, but um, it's not really gameplay. It's literally, it's gonna be like gameplay in the background and me just talking. Why do you have a very tall tower coat? So I can walk to the yellow wood. Winky face. Uh, I used to have pink trucks, but I drove them. Where are you at? Uh, you're now talking. I'm at my um, my base. My base. Um, here. Come. Let me show you, sir. I think I, I lowered this last time for uh, one of the people that was on my base. They're like, "What is that? It is amazing." <clears throat> Um, for those of you that didn't know, this right here is the um, door bridge that goes to um, the Yellowwood. Mm. Hello. Hello, sir. Come on. I'll just go this way. He goes, oh, wow. <laughs> um, I could probably make this drivable and throw a car or two up here and, and like drive it out and stuff like that. I don't want to. Uh, I'm going to pause it for the walk. Because it's, it's a little bit of a boring walk. There we go. I got to the end. By the way, the other thing about this is like the... Uh, the things here at the end. This this is actually a little walkway. So he's like, dang. <laughs> oh, thank you. See? There's a little walkway. Oh, oh, I'm dying. A little walkway down. And the reason for that is like when you're floating, you're like, oh, no. I can't get up. <clears throat> you can just walk on the end. There you go. Uh, and you can kind of do this. Uh, oh, where's my base at? It's at slot one. Long bridge, bridge, bring, long bring, long bridge to Yellowwood. Smiley face. Or glow fur. <laughs> Walk, 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 floaty, float, float. Walk back up. Here we go. Oh, thank you for the friend request, but I have to decline. Um. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked that. Uh, follow me. I know there's a lot of you that watch my channel, and uh, a lot of you that are are big fans and stuff like that. Hit the follow button. I can't friend you because there's a limit of 200 people. But I love followers. I would I would love to hit that 100k follower mark. I think in order to get the reward, you have to be part of the star program. And let's talk about that. Um, so a lot of you are like, hey code, why don't you have the star program thingy? Well, the reason I don't have it is because I don't qualify for amount of views per Roblox video and it's average views per Roblox video. And I think it's something like, you have to maintain 25,000 views per Roblox video or something like that. Okay. Um, I've actually, I've put in for the star program multiple times and been declined multiple times. So I'm kind of over like trying for it. So then I don't do this for the views. I do this for the content and for the fun. I mean, that's, that's why I record. That's why I started the channel in the first place. Cause I got tired of people just doing this for the views. Don't, don't get me wrong. That's uh, great for, you know, business revenue. Uh, big business uh, It's good for YouTube, you know, but for me, that's that's not the reason <clears throat> And the reason is you <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Actually the reason was my kids I got tired of them watching people just scream and cuss and everything else on the internet. No, why? Internet, why have you forsaken me? I'm just kidding. They are grown now. <laughs> That was like, what, six years ago? Something like that? Um, yeah. They're watching other stuff, so. 
Um, there, I don't think either one of them's like all that interested in Roblox per se anymore, which is fine. I mean, I found a love for it. I love Roblox, and I love being able to. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love being able to come in here, program, and hang out, and have fun, and just all around enjoy Lumber Tycoon 2. A lot of you, uh, a lot, not a lot of you, uh, a lot of people have said, Code, why do you still play Lumber Tycoon 2? It will, because it's still, to this day, like one of the most popular and most fun things to do on Roblox. And I don't know if you know this or not, but like, yeah, there's a lot of cool games out there, but it's not about the graphics and it's not about the... It's about the adventure. It's about the fun. It's about the community itself. There's a lot of them. Oh, hello. Oh, you poor puppy. What happened to your head, Scooby-Doo? <coughs> uh, do you have a gun? Whoa, it's a real gun. Nice. Hi, I like your vids. <laughs> Thank you. Smiley face. In times at your base, Code. Oh! I needed end times. Thank you. Wait, are you talking about end times wood or end times... Um... Yay! He brought me some end times wood. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wasn't able to get this the other day because of the, the whole uh, thing. The... Oh gosh, hold on. Let me let me move some of these presents out of the way. You guys hook me up with so much stuff all the time. It's I'm so thankful. I'm very grateful for everything that you guys give me. But there's there's like no room. I'm running out of room. What happened to my first base is quickly becoming uh, the problem on the second base. <laughs> okay, uh, let's build the end times since we now have some end times. Oh, I gotta have a. End times X. Oh goodness. Um, and here I'll just grab that. Thank you. It was him, right? Morgus. Morgus. Morgs. Nineteen forty. Nineteen seventy-four. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Were you born in nineteen seventy-four? What does that make you? Okay, Google. How old is somebody born in nineteen seventy-four? Really? Okay, Google. What's 2020 minus 1974? The answer is 46. 46 years old. Very nice. So if you happen to be 46 years old, and if that's you, huge shout out. Thank you. Um, I wonder if you have a YouTube channel. If you have a YouTube channel, shout out to this guy's YouTube channel and Twitter and whatever else he does. Huge thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for being a fan. Uh, Isabel. You, you actually, you were a fan too, because you said it in the thing. And did it say a friend? No, I just said privately chatting with Isabel. Okay. I don't think I've got any friends on here. Yeah, there's no friends. There's friend requests, and there's followers. I appreciate it. What was I talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, careful, careful, careful. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and clear out the next little area. Oh, 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 come on, come on. And we shall build pineapple candy canes. Even though it's almost July. <clears throat> Oh, by the way, for everyone in America, July 4th is what? Uh, not this weekend, but next weekend? Is that right? 10 days away? Something like that? July 4th uh, is our celebration of our independence. It's our Independence Day. And that's where we shoot off a bunch of fireworks in celebration. And it's usually the big one. It's like, yay, our independence! Which, by the way, is a huge celebration for a lot of the things that have been going on lately. It's to celebrate our freedom, our breaking away from, um, from England. Although, like, I don't know. A lot of our past, a lot of our history has just, it's part of American history. And I don't understand 
<clears throat> I don't understand a lot of the hate that's going on right now, but maybe that was because I was raised in a way that, like, we didn't have hate. Um, and my channel has very much been all about love. It's it's always been very forthcoming. Like, I've never wanted to um, put out any other message than love each other. Love your parents. Love your brothers and sisters. Love Love everyone. Love your teachers. Love your, love cops. Uh, love park rangers. Love everyone. And I just I don't understand how the world can still be so messed up. And it's something you know what it is going to be something that I talk about. And it might be controversial. And it might be scoob. <laughs> scoob. But it is something that like it's going on in the news. And a lot of you are probably either very confused by it or concerned by it and we need it needs to be addressed and talked about because if we can't address it and if we can't talk about it then what's the point it's very much <laughs> thank you buddy <laughs> it's very much a part of our life and it's in the news it's on TV you hear your parents talking about it you hear your co-workers talking about it and you have your own opinions and your own bias towards whatever opinions you have. Love each other. Period. Dot. End of story. Color. Not an issue. Race. Not an issue. Your belief system. Whatever religion you are. Because there's other things out there besides Christians, Muslims, and and just uh, I'll just leave it at that. Those two. There's so many Buddhist, Hindus. Uh, what what is Hindu? Is it, I don't remember what it is. There are so many other things in this world. The one thing that brings us all together, we are human. Whether you wear a badge, whether you protest, whether you speak out, whether you stay inside, whether you are introvert or extrovert or, or talk to a lot of people or you're embarrassed to talk to two people. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that you are a human being and your worth and your value should not be based on anything else except that you are part of the human race and you are here on this planet to live and to love and to, to experience what life has to offer. That right there, that is why we live. It's why people get so passionate about their belief systems. It's why people get so passionate about their their laws. But that's just it. You're human, first and foremost. And everything else is secondary, whatever. And this is this is me just thinking out loud. One thing I could see that would absolutely just abolish everything or it could hugely spark everything is if there was an alien life form that all of a sudden came to our planet and threatened the human race. That I think would bring everyone together. We'd be like, oh, poop. I guess all of our things don't really matter if the human race doesn't exist. That's, <laughs> I don't know. I, I hope I haven't offended anybody, and if I have offended, by all means, be offended. It's okay. Being offended has never hurt anyone. Whenever I was growing up, we had this little thing called, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Right? That's, that's what we used to say growing up. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. <clears throat> and it's still true to this day. People can say stuff to you, and you have the right to be offended by it, but I hope that didn't actually hurt you in some way. Because the moment somebody calls me a poopy head and, and I get like a, a bruise on my arm, that's... I'm, I'm gonna be calling, like, the Ghostbusters or something. That would, that would not be fun. <clears throat> Do you know how many bruises I would have coming home from work? <laughs> just, no! No, 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 no! No! Oh, wait, what was that? Was that. I don't know if that was. Palm or not. That's no good. 
Dang it. That was a big piece, too. Alright, we'll just destroy it. Oh, well. It happens sometimes. So I wanted, I, I, do, I did want to bring that up and I wanted to talk about it because uh, emotions, the things that we're feeling right now, especially since it's been hyper, hypertensive, I, I don't know if there's what the word is. It's been heightened. Our emotions and our feelings about the way that we believe and the things that we do and feel have been very much heightened and it's, it's just this perfect storm of like COVID-19 keeping everybody inside. We all went into lockdown and we got all this stuff going on. And then all of a sudden we started opening up and spark this just explosion of emotion and human rights came full blown. And it was going to happen. Like there's no doubt in my mind that this particular situation with Black Lives Matter and with the LGBT and with the movements and with the protests and the riots and everything that's going on, you know it was going to happen. Like, I've been saying it for a very long time. The world is still messed up. And I'd like the world to be fixed. We'd all like the world to be just nice to each other. But it isn't. And I hope I hope there's some enlightenment to that. I hope that we can continue to come inside here and forget about the world for just a little bit and have fun. I'm gonna need to like chop these in two, aren't I? That didn't work. Why did that? That's why, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He's like, hello, end times. I really do. I want to take the time to like say, I love you. I love you for being you. For the things that you think, for the things that you do, for the way that you brush your teeth in the morning. Because you're human and we are some funny animals. We can be very emotional. We can be very loving. And we can be taught to hate. Which is a sad thing. But I, I still want to celebrate it. I still want to celebrate the, the idea that... <sighs> you can learn from your mistakes. <laughs> like for the fact, that's a Twitter axe. This is end times wood. Twitter axes can't cut end times wood. You have to have an end times axe to cut some end times wood. <sighs> All right, try it again. <laughs> uh, one thing I, I really like seeing in the comments and in the community and in Discord and just all over the places, the diversity, the different people who are around the entire world who come together on one place, this crazy place called the internet, where your identity doesn't really matter anymore. We're all part of the same infrastructure, part of the same clan, part of the same group. Now, with the invention of profiles and profile pictures and everything else, that has changed the way that we see each other especially with social media, YouTube, Facebook, all these different outlets. It has given us back our faces. And I wanted you to know that before all of that, back whenever it was just AOL. AOL didn't have a profile of any kind. You had a screen name and that was it. And you had to ask people's uh, information and it was up to them if they wanted to give it to you. You were this anonymous online entity who could be anyone in the world. The world has changed. I'll agree. I hope it's for the better. I'd like to think that the world is a better place since AOL <laughs> back in the day. Speaking of like old school code, um, I found a little tidbit of code today. 
um, while searching around in files I wasn't supposed to be in. D calm down. I was actually doing it for a project that I I'm working on. Um, I need to needed to reverse engineer one of the functions that is on our system and in order to do so, there's a specific file called a VBA or a VBS that I need to open up. Well, um, that file itself has not been touched since like 1997. That was the last date that I found in there. Wait, no, was it 19? No, 1999. Back in 1999. Okay, so that's 21 years ago. Nobody has had the password in 21 years and yet we are still using this file today inside our system wow really so today i went through and i may have not figured out the password but reverse engineered it enough that i was able to unencrypt it and pull the actual VBA out of the system. So, um, I will just say, for, for all my programming peeps out there, for everyone who's ever done programming at all, it is a um, wild code going back and seeing things that I haven't touched since, like, high school, college years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Programmers, you are funny. Okay, and I just wanted to say, Sandy, I found your code. <laughs> I doubt I doubt the person that actually wrote this thing actually knows who I'm talking about, but her name is Sandy, and she hid a little piece of code inside this thing that literally has somebody's birthday, and that's it. It's just, it was like a little happy birthday montage kind of thing, piece of code, and it literally says, <laughs> non-conspicuous comment. <laughs> and then it says happy birthday blah 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 and then gives the the birth date which is like one 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 nine seven or something like that i don't i don't remember what the actual birth date was but i thought to myself huh did they hide the password in plain text inside the vba script so i tried it it wasn't the password but uh, i did go through and look to see if that code was referenced anywhere else it's not it was just Sandy put inside the programming thing, inside like a business system. It would it would be like going into Walmart, grabbing one of the cashier's machines, going into the program to find something, and seeing a little comment that was left behind by one of the programmers. And it says, happy birthday. Programming you like programmers you leave easter eggs in the wildest places what what why is it inside this system now don't get me wrong i have done some some hidden comments and, and i hide easter eggs all the time too but i think that is one thing about all programmers that kind of throws everyone for a loop it's like you you have this ability to hide pieces of code. Whether it's it's like arbitrary, is it no, it's that's not the right word. Um mal malicious, malicious. If it's a malicious piece of code, then we got a problem. Because now you're you're trying to sneak in a virus or something like that. But when it's a non-malicious piece of like tidbit of like, hey, this actually works if you do this, you know? And somebody who comes in behind you years, about 21 years later, and finds it, gets a chuckle out of it, you've done a good job. It was it was so good, I had to go and show my coworkers. <laughs> of course, they weren't as impressed because they're a bunch of network engineers. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> it really it really is. It's a it is a programmer's paradise out there. If you happen to be a programmer, or if you happen to work for a company to create games, I highly encourage you to hide an Easter egg. Something that doesn't 
like interfere with the main part of the program. But if you happen to do a certain sequence of things and it unlocks some little hidden message that is funny, that is that is awesome. I know a lot of corporations and, and companies and stuff have started becoming very very strict as to what is hidden inside codes and stuff like that. But at the same time, I think Easter eggs are one of the final few true treasure hunts of the world. And I'm I'm all for them. So Alright. I think I've talked enough. Is this this isn't big enough, is it? No. Okay, we'll use the other piece too. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. I know you're hungry. Thank you again, uh, Morgs. I really appreciate it. Uh, I like your kangaroo shirt. Is that your YouTube icon? Are you, are you a YouTuber? Big YouTubes? Oh, I should put this away. Hold on. Ooh, yeah, that's why. It was because it was so heavy. Wait, did I just hear the first part of, like, UB40? Ooh, baby, I love your way. UB40 is an old band. Uh, well, I don't want to say old band. It's a it's a band from my youth. <laughs> so yeah, it's an old band. Oh gosh. <laughs> when Spice Girls shows up on the Golden Oldies. Oh no. So tell me what you want, what you really want. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to be able to adjust these. These are these are heavy, and we we have a bit of lag on this server, so maybe not. That did that get in there? Is that because there's another piece? Oh alright, you know what? I don't care. We're just we're just gonna slide the stuff in there. Oh careful, careful, come on out. There we go. Hello. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Up you go. There we go. Slide right in there. Slide, slide. Jeez. <laughs> I know, right? These things are heavy, too. Oh, gosh. There we go. All right. I think I'm just going to jump out. Like, um, I'll see if anybody needs a signature first. And then go sign some bases if I need to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Had to look at the time. Hi, buddy. Here, let's do uh, outro time. <coughs> outro. Oh, oh, come on, come on. just there. We go. Turn, turn, turn. <clears throat> Soon. No, now. <laughs> I'm outroing. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. I know I went over a lot of topics and discussions today, but again, at the end of the day, it's really about, I just love you guys. I love performing for you guys. I love coming out here and making these videos. I love playing this game. So, although a lot of people will tell me, Code, you've been playing the number forever, I will probably be playing this until retirement. So, and that's actually really far away. I'm not that old, guys. I promise. I love you. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.